brain tech here where tech is made simple so if you have installed the windows 11 22 h2 feature update and have since noticed that um, you've seen a decrease in the amount of storage space on your device and maybe you're running a pc with a limited amount of space then um, we, you can follow the steps um, in this video to, um, that will help you to um, reclaim and get back the space after installing the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update or any feature update for that matter on both Windows 10 and 11. Now just in case you are unaware um, and just to do a quick recap um, what Windows will do when you install the Windows 11 22H2 feature update or any other feature update if we head to the file explorer and to the C drive or the drive your operating system is installed on what Windows will do when you install the feature update, it will back up your old operating system into this folder called the windows.old folder. Now here you can see we have my current Windows operating system which is now version 22H2 and this is my old Windows operating system which is now backed up that which was Windows 11 version 21H2 which was created on the 21st of September and that was the day I installed um, the feature update for Windows 11 22H2. Now, um, it's quite safe to delete this folder and um, the only reason uh, I would say that um, I wouldn't suggest deleting this folder is if you want to roll back or go back to the previous version for whatever reason maybe um, you don't like the new version or you're having problems or issues then you can always go back but um, if you remove this folder then you will not be able to but if you don't want to roll back for whatever reason and you need the hard drive space back and you want to reclaim that storage space then it's very simple and safe to delete and remove the windows.old folder which can be as large as anywhere between 15 to 20 gigabytes. Now to do this um, there's two steps we can follow. Now the first method would be to use the legacy disk cleanup utility and that's um, if you don't know where that is you can just do a search for disk cleanup which will open the utility and by default it will select the C drive and the windows drive but if it doesn't you can just manually select that. Then you just click on OK and this will just do a quick scan which can take seconds to minutes depending on your hardware and the amount of files installed. And after the first scan we need to then go to this little tab here called clean up system files and then we need to click on it and follow the same process. Now what this is going to do it's going to scan your drive again for um, system files including the previous windows installation or installations which as mentioned are contained in that windows.old folder which is the old operating system in this case my windows 11 version 21h2 operating system and that's after updating to windows 11 version 22h2 now as mentioned um this could take a bit longer depending on your hardware uh, depending on um, the size of your drive and also the amount of files you have installed and also the size of that windows.old folder. So we are doing this in real time so we're just going to have to be a little bit patient here and there we go and we're done. And then once that's done you need to look for this entry. Previous Windows installation installations. Check that box and here you can see 17.7 .7 gigabytes that's the size of that folder. So if you need that um, storage space back especially on a you know a device with limited storage check the box and then just click on OK you'll see a prompt which will say do you want to delete and then you just click on delete and it could take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes to delete that folder and then you that windows.old folder will be deleted and then you get the and reclaim the storage space back now I'm not going to do it because obviously I don't want to uh, remove the folder just yet and it's just going to take too long for the purposes of this video. Now that's the first option and method. The second is to head over to your settings menu, system and storage. And once again, um, I've already uh, got to the storage because if to, to do a scan in real time for the video will just take too long. So that's your system menu um, and then head over to storage. And then on the storage space, once it's scanned, which could take seconds to minutes, click on temporary files and here we can see um, it's scanned and it's found previous windows installations or installation which once again is 17.7 .7 gigabytes in size and the same process applies you click on that remove files and as mentioned that could take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes depending on 
the hardware, the size of your drive, and um, the amount of files that are installed. And it's quite safe to do. And once you've um, clicked on Remove Files, um, you, and you head back to your File Explorer, C Drive, you will notice that the Windows.old fold the windows.old folder has been removed and then you will have reclaimed that storage space and just a caution though as i mentioned in the beginning of the video if you want to roll back to a previous version of windows in this case version 21h2 which is contained in this folder do not delete this folder so um, just take note of that because if you delete that folder and if we just head back to the settings menu and this time we head over to uh, the um, recovery on the system page. You will see uh, currently I can go back. Now if you delete that folder, you will not be able to roll back. So just take note of that. If you want to just have the option to roll back, don't delete the folder. As if you do delete the folder and you come to your recovery, you will not be able to roll your system back. But that's just two easy steps and simple ways you can delete the, that old windows.old folder to reclaim and get back your storage space after upgrading to Windows 11 version 22H2 or any feature update for that matter. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.